morning guys or afternoon I guess welcome back to our channel so today is Sunday and I wanted to take you through just a Sunday reset nice relaxing day yesterday was super busy with celebrating my little cousin's graduation she graduated on Friday along with my little sister and we also went to the movies saw Top Gun Maverick so good by the way if you need a good new movie recommendation so busy day yesterday still have some things to do today but it's going to be much more relaxing and just getting prepared for the week ahead so tomorrow is memorial day and we are doing like a little cookout <laughs> at work tomorrow for those of us who will be working i do have a half day but i still want to celebrate for the, those who are going to be there for the full day so I need to get stuff to make. I'm making a pizza pasta salad, which I saw on Tiffany Beeston's Beauty and the Beeston's YouTube page. So I'm going to make that for them. And then I'm going to make that zucchini, lasagna, dairy-free, all of that that I talked about in the last video. I'm going to make that and show you how I made that in this video. So that will be super yummy. But we just got back from church and it was such a great message this morning. We're going through the book of Revelation and it is just phenomenal. If you want really deep dive into scripture and to really have a great understanding, Pope Drive Baptist Church is our church that we go to that my husband's the youth pastor at. And our pastor has been doing the study on Revelations for months now because we're breaking it down verse by verse, chapter by chapter. And it's a really, really phenomenal study and just a great time I know for myself and I've heard that from others as well so if you need a great sermon to listen to or set of sermons to listen to then all of them are recorded live on Facebook live every Sunday morning and Sunday evening so that's a great resource there for you but I am going to go ahead and get started on the lasagna because it is almost 12 o'clock and we are starving. <laughs> so by the time it gets finished, we will be outside of our, or inside our eating window. I will say this morning I was starving. So I'm super looking forward to this. I've had my coffee this morning with my collagen in it and now ready for food food. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to make our tomato sauce with those roasted bell peppers. We're going to make our cheese with the cashews and then I'm using ground turkey for the meat. So we'll have lots of different steps for it, but I think this can be super yummy. So let's go get started on that. Have water on boiling for the cashews, our pan heating up for our meat.
a try. Tell us what you think. What is this called again? It, uh, um, What's it called? Lazoodle. Lazoodle is what we're calling it. Lazoodle? A Lazoodle? Not too bad. Not too bad. Even with the cheese? Even with the cheese. Nice. Dude, that's actually really good. Well, guys, this is a great example of listening to your body. <laughs> we were going to the gym today and just going to do some cardio, but the babies actually are resting now, which is fine. And we took a nap. This was actually delicious. I definitely recommend. You can see there were some good layers there and you really didn't miss all the cheesiness, which I'm so used to because my family always makes the cheesiest, creamiest lasagna. So definitely recommend trying this recipe. Now, a forewarning that it did take me <laughs> almost an hour to make. The zucchini took a little while, like making each of the things took a little while, but then if you, I mean, you could pre-make the cheese, you could, or the cheese, you could pre-make the pasta sauce, which is super easy because it's just blending up the peppers and then adding whatever spices you want. So that part is super, super simple. And then you just combine it all together and bake it. I baked it for about 20-ish minutes and just really until it's kind of bubbly. And you could tell that it was warmed all the way through because I really don't like mushy zucchini. So I wanted them to hold up their texture and just how firm it was a little bit. So it was super, super good. So definitely recommend that. Now I need to go to the grocery store as always. Um, we still had a good bit of vegetables left over from last week. My eyes was definitely bigger than our meal plan that we needed. <laughs> So we still have a lot of vegetables left over, but we did use up all of our meat. So I need to go get more meat. And then I am making a pizza pasta salad, like I mentioned. I'm going to get stuff for that and then stuff to make a cake to also take for work. Um, my hack is I'm not making any of it gluten-free, <laughs> so I'm not tempted to cheat while at work. I'm really trying to reserve my cheat meal for this coming weekend for my little sister's graduation party. But... We are going to see. So, all right, let's go get our few groceries that we need. No Aldi today, but still going to get those groceries. 100% just got back to the house thinking, okay, ready to unload. I forgot I was supposed to go get Raymond food, so <laughs> we're going to do, do that now. I'm going to talk about how I really planned on getting much more done today around the house like laundry things like that but at the same time that's why I love Sundays because they really are a rest and reset day so I we have church Sunday morning Sunday evening is wonderful okay had to order real quick but yeah so that's just a reminder that you know those might be things that help me set up for the week but what also helps me set up for the week is having the right mindset and being just relaxed and at peace going into the week because we can't control what comes this week but being able to rest reset refresh have that dedicated time twice on Sundays I mean I do every day throughout the week as well but time dedicated time to be around other Christians other believers to fellowship that is just it's it's just what we need it's what the Bible tells us to do so love that and I love taking time to do that so we are getting Raymond's food and then we're gonna head home and I'm gonna make the pasta salads I have a cake I'm going to make as well I don't think I'm gonna show it in this video just because of time restraints I want to try to get to bed at a decent time um, tonight <laughs> hopefully but we are prepared for the week and for tomorrow. So I'm going to make some of that special sauce to take with me to a cookout we're going to. That way I know they're going to be having barbecue and instead of using the sugary barbecues, I can use 
that special sauce which if you don't know what I'm talking about check out my last video it's so yummy so I'm gonna use that as well and then yeah so I'll take you along for tonight and we'll see what all we can get done but all that we can get done is enough and that's what's important to remember all right, so I wanted to take you through the very small grocery haul that we got for everything. Have some things for our cake, such as these cake pans, but also for the pasta salad that we're going to be making. So have both of these type of rotini noodles. Also have eggs because we go through so many eggs. <laughs> I found this Grill Mate seasoning. We're going to use that for our pasta salad. Always restocking our stoke cold brew and then milk for our cakes as well. We get to have fruit this week, so I have banana, strawberry, pineapple. I have the tomato and cucumber for our pasta salad, cream cheese, and the whipped topping for the strawberry cake we're making. Some Italian dressing for our pasta salads, chicken as always, just an easy protein throughout the week, and then the last was our pepperoni, also for our pasta salad. So we are starting out by washing all of our vegetables, getting those prepped, and then We'll move into making the pasta salad and the strawberry cake as well, which you'll see.
I wanted to wrap up the video just by saying that the pasta salads were a hit at both of the cookouts that we went to. So definitely have to try that recipe. And the zucchini lasagna, that was so very good. Even heated up the next day. I know some things are kind of wonky the next day, but that one was really good too. So I just wanted to close out the video though, just so that it didn't just randomly end. But um, I also wanted to update because I've been doing this every week. So the end of week four, so halfway through the challenge and I have lost a total of 9.3 pounds. So I'm so excited. I can start to feel a difference. I can see a difference in my pictures. I've had other people mention it to me. So it's just, it's nice seeing the fruits of your labor come to fruition and all the hard work that's been put in. So I just want to encourage you to keep pushing towards your goals, keep moving your bodies, keep doing what is best for your body. Some days that is resting. So just know that you don't have to do a hardcore workout every single day of your life to be quote unquote healthy. Doing what's healthy is what is best for your body, mind, heart, your spiritual walk that is what is healthy having a well-rounded self and doing what you need to do for yourself but also what for me what I know that God is calling me to do God's telling me to do what feels great for my body right at this moment in terms of actual physical health and fitness so I just want to encourage you in that and yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys will like and subscribe thanks for following me along on this journey so far i'm glad to have been taking you along with me so yeah we'll see you next time